So, this game uh, holds a very special place in my heart. This is not only my favourite Crash Bandicoot game, this is the first game I ever got a platinum trophy on. Oh boy, time for Crash 3. I'm not scared of doing this one as it was with the other two, because this one's not as hard. In fact, I'd argue this is actually a relatively easy game. So yeah, this is basically Crash Bandicoot with time travel. Mm. <laughs> so in a departure, this level isn't jungle and or nature -y. This level is like a medieval castle for you. And like, I'm a huge history fan, so this this is just everything I love. I'm gonna let him spin. It is very refreshing, yeah. It's like every other game it would be like, oh this, but in Crash it feels very fun and unique to be in actual planes and not the middle of the jungle. The time and the nights are just nerf papu papu. Yeah. Pretty much. And uh, this is the introduction to the, shall we say the gimmick of Crash 3? The thing that makes Crash 3 very unique, shall we say? Crash 3 has a lot of uh, different kinds of levels. And this is one of them. This is the first underwater level in the game. Because yes, what this series needed was water levels. Oh, well, yeah, pretty much. It's like, how could we improve from an ice level? A water level. <laughs> Mario could breathe underwater. Crash actually needs an oxygen tank. It's quite a cute detail. You see, I get wanting to rather play Enter the Dragonfly. But Enter the Dragonfly is a very different kind of shit. Wrath of Cortex is, purely des is, is poorly designed. Into the dragonfly is just not very good. Did I fucking miss the crystal? If I didn't trigger anything in the game that's so poorly running, it actually triggers someone's epilepsy. Oh, at least Coco isn't doing horrible things. Like, this tiger seems to be consenting. Hang on, I thought you were gone forever. I thought when I beat you, you died. And now you're back. So I'm... I'm unhappy with you, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> How would be funny, Tetsu? It's also my first death happened. Second death happened. Oh no. It begins. Hey guys, this game wasn't actually that hard. You know, I don't think this game's that hard. Yeah, I like, yeah, there's a lot greater threats than the Triceratops, if you think about it, you're right. Like, really, if we're talking realistically, it's, it's, it's the fucking kid from um, Dinosaurs, that's the biggest threat in the universe. Not the mama, 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 not the mama. You do that one more time and I'm gonna throw you across the room. Oof. Yeah, yeah, these bombs are not adhering to social distancing right now. Now, even if I think this is the easiest, I still am not good at the bosses. <laughs> Look at Cortex just being a legend. Oh! Oh, you- Oh, no! Oh, excellent! Um... 
Okay. Alex Alliance with the hit built out of Casca. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Yeah, so Crash canonically kills Tiny Cat Tiger, and I don't know how I feel about that. The times are also harder, yes. Especially for Hot Coco, like, that flat note is pathetic in the American version. Unfortunately, it's the first they chose the European platinum for the end section, so everyone gets to suffer. Okay, level 8, Hog Ride, and this is a crash level. It begins. It. Welcome to the next gimmick. You have to win in first place. Mm hmm? Driving segments. That's what the audience asked for. Driving segments. <laughs> this is honestly one of the best level themes. When I don't get eaten by a crocodile when I'm past the crocodile. The crab feet pharaoh quarter. Honestly, this game is just great. Ah, uh, I don't mind. I, I can live without it. Or not, apparently. Um. Well, it's simple as to why all the Oriental stages are on the Great Wall. Who do you think the Chinese were trying to keep out? You have to be more specific which Louis there we were just like. There was like 16 of them. And now I've unlocked the double jump. Why does a dingo give you a double jump? Oh my god, that was- I think that was the crash ancestor. Look at it! What are we gonna name this thing? I think we should call it Kill Me Bandicoot. Yeah, let's call it that. And let's give it to do it to Chris. Abomination! Oh, it was right, la. Apparently, sharks can teleport me. Aww. Oh. Raccoons are quite cute. But what about a Bandicoot? I'd like a pet bandicoot. Yeah, well, okay. Crash was meant to be a wombat. His, his original name was Willy Wombat. But then Willy Wombat was actually a Looney Tune, so they couldn't do it. Yeah, raccoons would throw trash everywhere. Like, could you imagine Willy the Wombat Frey? Willy Wombat what? The Tasmanian Devil, yeah! But Tas is just the Tasmanian Devil. It also doesn't look like a Wombat. <laughs> You're not wrong! Oh my gosh, yeah, I love the hedgehog. They're adorable. Oh my god, it's another fucking bot. Hang on. For the love of god, do not click that. Oh, 
Oh no, they do eat their babies. Yes, I've dealt with the bot. We can all go back to our lives. Why is there just random bots? Who is coming up to my stream? Like, I could scam a grandma here. Like, I, okay, I got, like, I got a scam text the other day. And, like, I don't fall for scam texts. Like, I do not fall for the side of, but I find it so funny. Because it was, like, it was, so it was a text, like, like, uh, like, X amount of money has been sent from your account, to don't specify my account number, to, like, some random person. Click this, click this obviously not my bank link to sort it. And I was like, you know I could just check my bank, right? And I did. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, I did not have £175 out of my account. Hang the fuck on. It's this level. It's this level. We're doing it. This level has a bit of an easter egg. And by easter egg, this has a portal to a secret level. Because there is one road sign that's not like the other road signs. And if you crash into it, it is the only way to access some levels. I really want... And, and this doesn't unlock a secret warp room. This is literally the only way to access this level. For better or for worse, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it is for worse, because it's irritating having to do this all the time. Bird crashes into the UFO side. What do you unlock? Hot cocoa. This is one of the hardest levels in the game. Yeah, this is a really fucking hard level, especially to get the, um, the gold relic. Now, I'm just going to try and get the gem. No, you can't cheese. I think they patched it out. I can't get my fucking three second platinum relic time anymore. No, I want to do this. I want to do I want to prove my point of what the fuck is wrong with our Coco. <laughs> Anxiety intensifies. Basically. There it is. There's the ignition. Should I get cool cat beeped? <laughs> cat beeped notifications. Just stuff like, there he is. And that kid can cat said a cool cat's face. No, I feel like I feel like Daddy Derek would get upset at me if I did that. Everyone remember cool cat? My old Twitter account was blocked by um, its creator. Oh no. Yes. Please don't call him daddy! <laughs> it's what he insists on being called in the movie. I will refer to him as he is politely requested of the fan base to be called daddy daddy. At least it's a funny internet number. <laughs> Great, but you can't find one, Fox. <laughs> I feel like that's what my Crash 4 playthrough is just going to end up being. Like, like, happy birthday, Claire. You can't find boxes. It just hit me the joke there, engine gas, as in engine gas. No! Oh, I fucked up on the last turn! Ooga oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooga is just angry. I don't know why Ooga Ooga doesn't just kill Crash. It's like, it's heavily, it's heavily implied that he has the power to. Like, imagine, okay, imagine you're like, being the scientist, being the clone. And it's like, okay, so what's this clone? You're the wizard. What's this clone? You're the knight. What's this clone? Oh yeah, you're the two-headed monster. Now you're on my time, you little skunk. Give me the crystal. 
Haha, it's a time joke. Oh. Oh, do not. Oh god, that's so incredibly cursed, the idea of Wario being like, <laughs> Oh, I forget it, I forgot it flipped sides <laughs> It's a very full, cool thing to know, is how um, the timeline is changing, like which area you're fighting him in. Is shifting with each phase. <laughs> and that's entropy defeated. Oh! Invert your vehicle control to the options menu. I just might, bonus Bob, I just might. Yes, you are looking at this right. This is a, a vehicle combat level in your child-friendly platformer. And I think this is meant to be the World War. So like, I think that's the period this is meant to be. Which is fucking heavy subject matter for a crash game. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I don't want to think about the, um, the ram of the, the, the... Because this would, this would put, because of the use of blimps, this would put Cortex with the axis. Oh, yeah, you're not just cartoonishly spinning these guys. They are falling to their death into a violent explosion. Yeah, this level's nice and easy. Now I mustn't forget that. Tapu Tapu the return. It's a return of Papu Papu. And yeah, this is this game's placement for the um uh, like the lab and like machinery kind of levels. The future. Oh no. Oh, thank you, game, for telling me what power up I need to use. Look, I'm pretty fucking stupid, okay, but not stupid. Yikes! Yeah, I think that's kind of the best way to put that. It's like it's it's a bit talky down to the audience. So yes, this is the gimmick of this level: the water rises. Now, fortunately, you have the the door jump and the death tornado spin. Need a bit of a reprieve. But it's still a trickiest level. Again, this isn't the hardest level. Yes, it's flooding in a closed temple. Do you have a problem with that, Ares? In this time of year, localized with entirely within your York temple. Yes. Oh, Coco fucking died. Oh, 
Oh god! She actually drowns! So you get to see a last breath and everything. That's actually kind of horrifying. It's like, it's like I make the joke, but then I actually get the revolt. So like, am I happy? You got what you want! And this is basically a better version of his Crash 2 fight. He just has different bits of his body to destroy. Blow him up. Or have I? He's got a second fight. <laughs> oh, it's our tiger buddy. It does have a very weird looking ship. Oh, I just oh, I just noticed it's a tiger face at the back. Cause you don't really look at your ship. And that's it. That's one of the best bosses in the series. And I've unlocked the gun. It's just a fucking gun. Oh, there's this fucker. Let's give Crash a gun. I, I think one of the things I think we, we we should all like look focus on, especially with you know the pandemic, is instead of focusing on the stuff we've lost, which you know obviously we should be thinking about, it, but I think I think now is the uh, moment. Oops. I'm gonna restart because I actually want to try the death route. I think now is the time to um, look forward to the future and think, okay, what are we going to do when this ends? What can we do again? Like, I want to go to conventions. I want to. I want to eat out. You know, like you've got to. You got to focus on what you. What the positives? Because I've been saying this to people. I've been saying that when this is over. The stuff that's gonna happen after is gonna be amazing. I don't know if anyone's seen stuff from Wuhan, but Wuhan is going great right now. Comic Con, yeah. Comic Con is gonna be amazing. That Japan trip you have, it's already gonna be special because it's Japan, but it's gonna be a little more special now. You know, kind of like an end, like a nice, after you've had not had a holiday for so long, a nice end to it all, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. World War II flight battle over the Himalayas of Cobarized. Oh, I feel like this would be the French Alps, actually. But, like, could you imagine, like, being in World War... World War II? And, you know, you're, like, you're about to have this epic high battle. Oh, I would have described it epic, actually. Got this, uh, this massive fine battle. And then an orange bandicoot is fighting a, a bold yellow man. I'm actually just explaining that, so. Like, what happened out there? So, well, a bandicoot. That, that is 
also a good question. They're like, why have they airdropping supply boxes by balloon? We have parachutes. And if I'm not mistaken, so I just want to check before we uh, get into the final boss. If I am not mistaken. Yep. Oh, wait, no, no. I thought it was that you couldn't access any levels, but nah. Yeah, it's a pretty challenging fight. And now, having not achieved a single game over so far. Ned. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious. But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you. Mm hmm. Daddy Ned Cortex. It is time for our final clash of the Endsame Trilogy. This has been an absolute pleasure to play, by the way. <laughs> Boss team appreciation. Jura's mask all over again. <laughs> just, just with the light motif from the original boss for you, but with just. Uh... And fun fact, no matter how many times you die, you can't start this boss of an Aku Aku match because Aku Aku is fighting Uka Uka. I think this is my favourite Cortex fight. Uh, but the ones is pretty good, but this one just has so much more style to it. And with that, we get the crash dash. Defeated again. This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs> but that is not the true ending yet. Because when we get back to this, which won't be next stream, probably the stream after, we have the true ending to achieve. Oh, this was a fun game to play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Most big bags of ice.
But yeah. That is Crash Bandicoot 3. And by extension, the main game of each of the, the main part of each Crash game completed. <laughs>